Hey, think about moving to Naples, Florida. I got a great video for you. We are going to do a pros and cons video for the community of Royal Harbor. And we're going to add a little bit extra to it, a little bit of spice. We're actually on the water. We're going to tour the backside so you can see the, uh, the canal homes. Uh, beautiful community. Can't wait to share with you what I think are the advantages and disadvantages of, uh, of moving in that great community. Let's go. First time to the channel, please subscribe. Please tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the ever-changing real estate market here in uh, Naples, Florida. Hey, my name is Randy Curtis. I'm with eXp Realty and every day I get texts, emails, and calls from people all over the country looking to uh, move to our beautiful Naples. I live here, uh, absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move, let's say in the next nine to 90 days, uh, feel free to reach out. Would love to help you potentially make a smooth move here to Naples, Florida. So like I said, we're gonna head over to uh, Royal Harbor Enjoy the ride.
All right, that was a pretty drive over, wasn't it? So I wanted to now talk about the pros and cons of living in Royal Harbor. So let's start with the pros. So for me, the very first one would be uh, HOA. So you have no HOA when you live in Royal Harbor. That just gives you more freedoms, more flexibility, maybe with pets or things that you would like to do with your house. And of course, you don't have the expense that goes along with an HOA. But on the flip side, you don't have the amenities as well. So there's not the tennis courts here and the, uh, maybe the spas and the, and the golf and stuff that go maybe go along with an HOA. But there are plenty of options in the surrounding area. Just a 30 second drive uh, in the uh, opening of Royal Harbor is the Naples Bay Club and they have tennis, fitness, and um, spa, pools. Um, they have the top golf simulated um, golf game if you like to play golf. So there is options when it comes to that. So let's move to number two would be lots. So Amazingly, there's still lots available here. So for those that like to build their own custom uh, home, you have the ability to do that. Uh, number three for me would be that every home in Royal Harbor is either a canal home or a bayfront home. Uh, great for boaters, immediate access to, uh, the, to the bay, which in about 10 minutes you can get out to the Gulf. Uh, no bridges to get out, so very convenient as far as that goes. Uh, number four would be just the views uh, and the beauty inside of Royal Harbor, whether it's your backyard looking out onto, over to mangroves or looking out over the bay or maybe looking at another, you know, beautiful home. But the landscaping's mat mature, uh, meticulous. It's very, very pretty inside of Royal Harbor. Uh, number five would be the lack of traffic. So once you get inside the streets, they're all dead in streets. So the only traffic would be, you know, that of your neighbors. Uh, coming into or, or leaving uh, the community. So you don't have the through traffic from, you know, somebody going from, you know, through your community from one side to the other and trying to get somewhere else. You, you wouldn't have that. Um, and then the proximity to Fifth Avenue South and Third Avenue South for great dining, uh, great shopping. Uh, you could literally walk there. It would take you probably you know, about 20 minute walk or maybe hop on a golf cart so you could get there pretty, uh, pretty quickly. And then with that, I'd say number seven would be the beach. You're probably maybe 10 minutes from the beach and that's parking, that's getting on the sand and laying out. So great proximity there. So it's, it's a perfect location when it comes to that. Uh, number eight, I would say is the neighborhood. The neighbors are very friendly. Um, I've ran open houses in here, driven my bike in here, I've walked in here. Uh, neighbors are always, you know, very courteous and waving and saying hi and stuff like that. So I would say I'd put that at the very top because if you're new to the community or maybe moving out of state, nothing better than coming in and, you know, your neighbors welcoming you or if you needed a hand um, or making new friends, I think it'd be uh, easy to do here in this community. And then last but not least is it's just very stress-free. It feels like it's very quiet. It's tranquil, tranquil here, very kind of like stress-free. Uh, when you're riding your bike or walking, you can hear a lot of the nature and the birds chirping and stuff like that. So for me, I really like that part. All right, so let's go to the cons next. All right, so now the cons of living in Royal Harbor. Now this list I had to think <laughs> a lot longer and harder about because there are not very many cons of living in Royal Harbor. But I'd say the first one and two that, kind of, that go together are the streets are narrow inside of Royal Harbor. So you know, the speed limit is 10 miles an hour, you gotta go slow and there are no sidewalks. So for those that like to go on walks or walk your dog, uh, it's a little bit of a con, you know, cause it would be nicer if you had sidewalks to be able to do that. So I'd put those as my, kind of my first two that you notice right away when you're here. And then number three would be uh, new builds. So there are about 10 new builds going on inside, inside of Royal Harbor. So if you happen to, you know, move in uh, right next door to a new build, you do have about 10, 12 months of uh, construction noise 
that may be a little bit of a, a hindrance uh, for you. And then I would put next would be the continuing on the dog theme. There's no dog park here inside of Royal Harbor. And I own uh, two labs and love to take them on walks every day. It'd be awesome if there was a dog park community here. Um, and with that, is you don't have the, the amenities here like you do in a traditional gated HOA as far as the tennis and golf and spa and all those things that go along with a community like that. But I did mention in the pros there is an alternative uh, for that just outside of Royal Harbor, uh, the Naples Bay Club. They have all those amenities and you could uh, join if you wanted to be able to do that. Um, and then lastly, I would just say the price. So a little higher price point. We're in a luxury neighborhood, one of the top neighborhoods in all of Naples, Florida. On the bay, golf access, so all those come at a price. So you are at about a $1,500 square foot entry to be able to uh, get into Royal Harbor. So the barrier of entries is, is higher. Um, and I would round that out as, you know, my, my most probably negative. I wish it was more afford affordable, but, but then it would be nearly impossible to get in here, right? So that rounds out our pros and cons of Royal Harbor. So stay with us. We're actually going to head back on the boat so you can see some more uh, beautiful homes on our way back to dock. All right. And then we'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, if you're brand new to the channel, uh, please subscribe. Every week we're going to feature a new uh, community here in Naples. Be blessed. Thank you.